were here backstage at Kidam at the Blaise Dell Arena and basically uh, you are in the part that uh, the audience usually doesn't really get to see. It takes us about 12 hours and, uh, and about 100 people to build all of that together. We bring 15 trucks worth of equipment and in those trucks we have obviously our stage and, and the set and everything that we use for the show but we also have uh, a gym that we travel with for the performers. We have about 43 road cases filled with costumes that I would love to show you. We're here in the wardrobe workshop where we'll have our four wardrobe specialists working uh, every hour of the day to get the, all the costumes uh, ready for the show. We also will hire three locals to help us out to do uh, some sewing projects, all the, the cleaning and the steaming. And during that time we also uh, need to paint uh, the shoes every day after they've been on stage just to make sure that they're perfect. Uh, some of the shoes are regular street shoes that you can recognize like those Doc Martens but um, but they have all the intricate details that will really make them specific for Kidan. And as you can see here, they get scuffed on stage and that's the reason why we need to uh, repaint them every single day. Every performer does their own makeup. So we kind of have a, our own little makeup store that we bring with us. And they come here to, uh, to get the new colors when the old ones are done and also to get some tips on makeup. It's not everybody uh, that was uh, that was taught to do eyeliner like us girls when we were younger. This is one of the, the loveliest road case that we have backstage. It looks really good because it has all of the, the hats and the wigs. We do um, a virtual scan of their heads and their whole bodies like that when they are not on tour with us we can uh, when they are on tour with us we can still uh, create all of the head pieces and the hats and everything uh, that would fit perfectly on their head so a good example is this one right here this is our bunny so when she does um, just climbing around on stage as a character she will have these lovely pointy ears and then once she does the skipping act, she will have the curled up ears because if she was wearing the other ones, it would get tangled in the ropes. So it gives her two different looks. So would you like to see what you would look uh, as a blonde? Oh, let's see what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> My guinea pig. <laughs> Is it the curly ones? I want the big ones. You want the big ones? Might as well. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back for this. <laughs> well, it doesn't quite oh. I don't want to hurt it. No, you have a big head. I do have a big head. head. It's very thick. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, well, at least you can see. Let's like, see the long oh, lines. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> you do a great one. <laughs> You've been told that before? <laughs> that's the first. That's the first. <laughs> 